Silly old me forgot to record an intro, so I really apologize. So this is my intro for today's video. But it is just a cute little story, and I hope you guys enjoy this. And I promise I won't forget the intro in the next video. <laughs> See you next week. So starting off with brows, I'm using this Primark gel liner in brown, which I'm so obsessed with, and it is 250. Like how can you go wrong? So what I'm doing is I'm just drawing in my tail, and then I'm just shading the rest of my brow in using a flat angled brush. And then to get the front lighter, I'm just using whatever part is left on the brush to like feather the hairs forward and just make it look like a lighter effect. And then of course I'm doing my other brow because why would I go without another brow? Um, brows to me are so important, like they completely define your face. Completely. Now using this Rimmel Brown Mascara to keep them hairs in place all day, I'm basically just focusing on the front of the brow, that's basically it. Yep. Now to carve out my brows and to put my lids, I'm using this amazing concealer from the Collection 2000 concealer. It's so cheap, it's definitely one of my favourite concealers. So what I'm doing is I'm just place that all over my lid and under my brows just to roughly carve out my brows, not doing them too precisely. And then I'm just using a fluffy brush to buff in that concealer and just make it look like it's my own skin. And now with my gorgeous little palette, the Too Faced Bomb Bomb palette, which is so cute, taking the shade Divinity just to set that concealer all over my lids so it'll stay in place all day long. Now taking Cashew Chew as a transition shade, I'm just blending this into my crease. This is such a subtle shade and I love it. One of my favourite brushes next. I'm taking the shade Mocha and placing that just under the crease to give it a little extra dimension. And it's a smaller brush every time of course to create more depth. The next shade I'm using is called Dark Truffle and I'm only using a teensy tiny bit of this and I'm using a, a small pencil brush and I'm blending it just above my lash line. Simple. This is the most gorgeous shade but a little goes a long way with this shade. Again getting a big bluff, bluff, a big blending brush and just blending that all out. Now taking Cashew Chew again and just putting that on my lid and a little bit on the inner corner just to make it a little bit brighter and easier to make the eyes pop. Now 
now taking satin sheets which is the most beautiful shimmery shade ever I'm putting that right in the inner corner and I can't get over this shade it is just gorgeous Next I'm applying some concealer under my eyes and you will see why I'm doing this in just a minute. Just blending that out with the same fluffy brush that I blended with my eye concealer. And now I'm taking the shade Cotton Candy which is this gorgeous pink shade and you will see why I am putting that concealer on. So basically I didn't want to lose any of the colour and if I was to put it on after my foundation, before my foundation, it would be a little bit, you wouldn't see as much of the colour. So it's just easier this way and you won't lose the payoff. Such a gorgeous pink, it really brings out the pop colour. So that is what it looks like and I just love the bit of pink that it brings out. And next is my favourite part, the lashes. Lashes really bring a look together. I'm using my base, so it's a Sumi Primark range in the shade, in the shade, in the side Kylie. And then some jewel glue and now I'm BAM! So some mascara now just to join the lashes and my real lashes together and just to make them look more real and again on the bottom lashes just to make a bit of black lashes on my bottom lashes because you want to look like you have some bottom lashes <laughs> so when you have all that on the eyes to be looking fly and then lashes though I seriously cannot get enough of them and for six euro hello amazing So now I'm getting a cute little pink lippy, this is the Kiko one, it is a limited edition range and I just love it, I haven't worn it in forever, I'm surprised I actually still have it because I got this about 3 years ago in Italy and I actually love it and I forgot why I have stopped wearing it, like I forgot why I stopped wearing it so yeah, cute little pink lippy and that basically um, works with the pink underneath the eye and it just complements it so much and yeah this is a cute little look. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And of course, do leave any suggestions for videos down below in the comments. I'm always running out of ideas, so any ideas will be greatly appreciated. So I hope to see you all next week and talk soon. Bye!